Of all the objects in the universe, stars are amongst the most fascinating. From the birth of newborn protostars to the dramatic final stages of their lives, the life cycle of stars has captivated the human imagination for centuries. Yet one of the greatest stellar mysteries is that of vanishing stars, stars that were once visible but have suddenly disappeared. While the mysteries behind them haven't been completely unraveled, recent advances in telescope and monitoring technology have unveiled shocking truths about this extremely rare occurrence. Join us as we explore the concept of vanishing stars and unravel the mystery behind the disappearance of 700 known stars. When we look up at the night sky, the stars appear eternal. In a sense, that's true, as stars can live for millions or even billions of years, which is just mind-boggling compared to our own lifespans. However, like all living things, stars are born, they live, and they eventually die. Astrophysicists have made significant progress in understanding the life cycles of stars. However, when a star suddenly disappears, it raises more questions than answers. What could have caused it to vanish? Was it a natural event or something more unusual? The discovery that as many as 100 stars may have disappeared from our observations in recent decades is a sobering reminder that our understanding of the universe is still incomplete. The vanishing stars challenge our assumptions and force us to confront the limitations of our knowledge. Keep watching as we explore some of the most groundbreaking discoveries in our understanding of vanishing stars and provide possible explanation to the stars that have vanished from our solar system and beyond in the last few decades. In July of 1952, something strange happened at California's Palomar Observatory. Astronomers were photographing the night sky when they captured an image at 8.52 p.m. This image shows three stars clustered together somewhere close to the middle of the frame. But when they photographed the same patch of sky less than an hour later at 9.45 p.m., the three stars had vanished. This is the first photograph, and this is the second, and clearly three obvious objects were missing. The weird thing about this incident was that after several routine observations, they still couldn't find even faint versions of those stars. This mysterious event has puzzled scientists ever since and opened up a new world of inquiry into vanishing stars. After several decades with more modern equipment, astronomers have taken one of the most powerful telescopes in modern times and tried to find those stars. But they've had no luck. The stars are gone. As Alok C. Gupta from Aries said, There has been no evidence for anything like this ever before, and it has naturally piqued our interest. But what really happened? The thing is, stars just don't disappear like that. They might vary in brightness, but they don't simply vanish into thin air in under an hour. Even if it was like a supernova or something similar, space scientists would have seen a bright flash. There would have been an afterglow and lots of debris it would have been obvious that something catastrophic had occurred. But before we explore some potentially credible explanations for this fascinating mystery, let's provide some important context on how this discovery was made. It all started at the prestigious United States Naval Observatory located in Washington, D.C. As a military organization, its primary purpose has been to provide the most accurate observations of the night sky, which are crucial for various scientific endeavors. Established over a century ago, the Naval Observatory has been at the forefront of advancements in our understanding of the universe. One of its key focuses has been the precise measurements of time using highly accurate atomic clocks. This is essential not only for astronomy, but also for modern navigation and other scientific applications. Over the decades, the observatory has amassed an extensive collection of photographic plates capturing astronomical objects. These plates, often obtained from observatories like the Palomar Observatory in California, have been meticulously catalogued and digitized, creating a valuable public database for researchers. A few years ago, scientists made an unusual discovery during a project called the VASCO, Vanishing and Appearing Sources During a Century of Observations project. This involved comparing observations of stars over many decades to see what had changed. By examining thousands of photographic plates and telescope scans of the same stars dating back to the 1950s, 
and comparing them to more recent observations, the research team found nearly a thousand stars that appeared to have vanished. These stars were present in the 1950s observations but were no longer visible in the same regions of the sky today. The sheer number of disappeared stars presented quite a mystery. However, the researchers proposed several possible explanations. Some stars may have gone supernova or produced a failed supernova, leaving behind a remnant that is no longer visible. Other stars may have simply collapsed directly into black holes, disappearing from view. While these explanations could account for some of the vanishing stars, the researchers noted that over 700 disappearances across various regions of the night sky could not be fully explained by supernovae or black hole formation alone. The discovery raised more questions than answers about the nature of these vanishing sources. One hypothesis suggests that some of these stars were actually just normal stars exhibiting unusually powerful flare activity, making them appear extremely bright from far away. This type of behavior is commonly seen in M-type or red dwarf stars, but the key difference is that the stars in question did not appear to completely disappear after these flare events. Another proposed explanation is that some of the observations could be capturing the small explosions of novae. Novae is a type of stellar event where a white dwarf in a binary system undergoes a thermonuclear explosion on its surface, causing a dramatic increase in brightness. It's possible that some of these 700 observed objects were novae caught at the right moment during their outburst. Similarly, the observed objects could be examples of variable stars, stars that naturally fluctuate in brightness over time. While plausible, these scenarios still do not adequately account for the complete disappearance of some of the stellar sources after the initial brightening. The scientific community has also carefully considered the possibility of these observations simply being the result of photographic errors or dust specks. However, the detailed analysis of the data has largely ruled out these mundane explanations. The observations from the Palomar Observatory, which was specifically tasked with discovering asteroids, demonstrate a level of precision and sensitivity that makes instrumental errors highly unlikely. Similarly, the more recent observations from state-of-the-art telescopes in Hawaii are known for their exceptional image quality further diminishing the possibility of errors. Hey guys, just a moment before we continue. Be sure to join the Insane Curiosity channel. Click on the bell. You'll help us to make products of even higher quality. What could really be the reason behind the vanishing stars? Could there be bias or contamination? The scientific community grappled with the unusual stellar phenomena observed in the 1950s for many years, attempting to find a satisfactory explanation. However, a more unconventional hypothesis began to emerge when researchers realized the timing of the initial observations. They were taken during the early stages of the Cold War, when nuclear testing was ramping up in the nearby New Mexico deserts. The scientists started to consider the possibility that the bright anomalous spots in the photographic plates could be the results of radioactive dust contamination from these nuclear tests. This hypothesis seemed to provide a plausible explanation for the unusual characteristics of the observed objects, such as their sudden appearance and brightness. Just when this nuclear contamination theory was gaining traction, further observations and analysis revealed an even more puzzling phenomenon. The simultaneous appearance and disappearance of nine distinct objects within the same set of images from the 1950s. This discovery posed an even greater challenge to our understanding of stellar astrophysics. The sudden flaring up of a single star is relatively common, but the synchronized behavior of nine separate objects was unprecedented. The possibility of a gravitational lensing effect was considered, but the shape and characteristics of the observed objects did not fit the expected patterns of a gravitational lens. Another hypothesis suggested that the objects could be the result of a fragmentation event of a distant asteroid, reflecting sunlight for a short period. However, this idea was also problematic, as the observations did not show the typical streaks associated with asteroid motion or the presence of apparent body. The scientific community found itself grappling with an even more perplexing mystery. How could nine seemingly independent objects suddenly appear and then vanish into nothingness. This phenomena defied the known laws of stellar behavior and challenged our fundamental understanding of the universe. 
Among the boldest theories are those suggesting the involvement of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations. One such speculation involves Dyson spheres, hypothetical megastructures that an advanced civilization might build around a star to harness its energy. If a star were enveloped by a Dyson sphere, it could theoretically disappear from our view as its light is obscured. Also, if we assume that these advanced civilizations are capable of building Dyson spheres, it's possible that they might be responsible for the disappearance of these stars. Perhaps they're using their advanced technology to harness the star's energy, causing it to appear as if the star has vanished. Another outlandish idea posits the presence of alien lasers. These could be used for interstellar communication or propulsion, potentially causing stars to appear and vanish. Similarly, the notion of powerful alien spaceships traveling in high velocities away from Earth could account for the sudden disappearance of stars, as the immense speed could cause their light to shift out of the visible spectrum or appear to vanish due to relativistic effects. Alternatively, they might be using their technology to mask the star's light, making it invisible to our telescopes. Despite the appeal of these extraterrestrial explanations, there is currently no concrete evidence supporting them. The nine objects that have mysteriously vanished indeed present a puzzle. While the absence of more substantial data leaves these theories in the realm of speculation. Traditional astrophysical phenomena may yet offer a more mundane explanation. For instance, the transient nature of certain types of stars, like those undergoing supernova explosions or variable stars that can dim and brighten over time, might explain some of these disappearances. Additionally, observational errors or data errors cannot be entirely ruled out. Hey guys, we did a video on why you can't see stars in space. Be sure to check it out. Let's jump right back. What do we know so far? The exploration of the stars is a fascinating endeavor, especially now. According to the satellite tracking website Orbiting Now, as of May 4th, 2024, there are 9,900 active satellites in various Earth orbits, accompanied by nearly 31,590 tracked debris objects. This crowded space environment provides ample opportunities for observation and study. One particularly intriguing development was the recent paper describing the disappearance of three stars within a surprisingly short time frame. The triple object vanished, no longer visible, suggesting it had disappeared entirely within just one hour. It was initially proposed that this could be some kind of triple stellar flare, with the stars still present but briefly obscured. However, more powerful observations detected nothing, implying the triple object had dimmed by over 10,000 times. The exact nature of what happened and where the object went remains a mystery. While physical contamination or nuclear tests could be possible explanations, the distinct triple shape and structure of the object suggests these were genuine stars. A gravitational lensing effect was considered as an explanation, where a single star is magnified by the passage of a black hole. However, this does not fully account for the complete disappearance of the triple system. An alternative hypothesis is that these were not actually three stars, but three unusually bright nearby objects, potentially within two light years of each other, that were suddenly illuminated by some trigger event, only to disappear once the event concluded. This would explain the dramatic brightening and rapid fading observed. Regardless of the exact nature of these vanishing objects, their disappearance within just 50 minutes suggests they were in very close proximity to one another. This presents a new and puzzling astronomical phenomenon that requires further investigation. The sudden vanishing of these star-like objects in recent decades remains one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in astronomy, with no definitive explanations yet available. Understanding the underlying cause of this strange occurrence could potentially reveal new physics or undercover biases in astronomical data, making it a subject of great importance for the field. Do you think the disappearance of stars has anything to do with aliens? What do you think is the most logical explanation? Feel free to leave your answers in the comments below. If you liked the video, then you should check out the one on your screen. This fascinating description of the life and death of stars will blow your mind. Thanks for watching.